Of course, human groups are nowhere near as cohesive as beehives. Human groups may look like hives for brief moments, but they tend to then break apart. We're not locked into cooperation the way bees and ants are. In fact, often, as, as we've seen happen in a lot of the Arab Spring revolts, often those divisions are along religious lines. Nonetheless, when people do come together and put themselves all into the same movement, they can move mountains. Look at the people in these photos I've been showing you. Do you think they're there pursuing their self-interest? Or are they pursuing communal interest, which requires them to lose themselves and become simply a part of a whole? Okay, so that was my talk delivered in the standard TED way. And now I'm going to give the whole talk over again in three minutes in a more full-spectrum sort of way. We humans have many varieties of religious experience, as William James explained. One of the most common is climbing the secret staircase and losing ourselves. The staircase takes us from the experience of life as profane or ordinary upwards to the experience of life as sacred or deeply interconnected. We are homo duplex, as Durkheim explained. And we are homo duplex because we evolved by multi-level selection, as Darwin explained. I can't be certain that the staircase is an adaptation rather than a bug. But if it is an adaptation, then the implications are profound. If it is an adaptation, then we evolved to be religious. I don't mean that we evolved to join gigantic organized religions. Those things came along too recently. I mean that we evolved to see sacredness all around us and to join with others into teams that circle around sacred objects, people, and ideas. This is why politics is so tribal. Politics is partly profane, it's partly about self-interest, but politics is also about sacredness. It's about joining with others to pursue moral ideals. It's about the eternal struggle between good and evil, and we all believe we're on the good team. And most importantly, if the staircase is real, it explains the persistent undercurrent of dissatisfaction in modern life. Because human beings are, to some extent, hivish creatures like bees. We're bees who busted out of the hive during the Enlightenment. We broke down the old institutions and brought liberty to the oppressed. We unleashed earth-changing creativity and generated vast wealth and comfort. Nowadays, we fly around like individual bees exulting in our freedom. But sometimes we wonder, is this all there is? What should I do with my life? What's missing? What's missing is that we are homo duplex, but modern secular society was built to satisfy our lower, profane selves. It's really comfortable down here on the lower level. Come, have a seat in my home entertainment center. One great challenge of modern life is to find the staircase amid all the clutter, and then to do something good and noble once you climb to the top. I see this desire in my students at the University of Virginia. They all want to find a cause or call that they can throw themselves into. They're all searching for their staircase. And that gives me hope, because people are not purely selfish. Most people long to overcome pettiness and become part of something larger. And this explains the extraordinary resonance of this simple metaphor conjured up nearly 400 years ago. No man is an island entire of itself. Every man is a piece of the continent 